If you went by the chatter or conversations on social media, especially on Twitter, it will seem as if India is a country of startups and startups only, right? They get so much attention, whether it is about funding or so many other initiatives that they take. Startups sort of dominate the entire narrative on social media and also in PR, in newspapers and all of these things. Now, India isn't really a country of startups. We have a lot of traditional businesses, corporates, companies, etc, etc. Despite that, even before Shark Tank India released or Shark Tank India aired, startups knew a thing or two about staying in the news or at least about going viral. So I wondered, are there some lessons for people like you and me, professionals, uh, leaders, team managers, CEOs, CMOs, founders, uh, about the things that startups do to go viral? And I found that out and now I'm going to share those lessons with you through a couple of case studies in this particular video. So don't go away, watch the entire video because you'll get step-by-step -step suggestions on how you can make your brand, personal brand, company or startup also go viral with lessons from other startups. So stay tuned. The first case study is Zomato. Now back in August of 2020, Zomato announced period leaves for its female and transgender employees. That was done in a very classy and good way. You should look up the blog. It's really super interesting and a nice lesson on how you should craft communication like this. But more importantly, what it did was uh, there was a lot of media coverage. They were in the newspapers, they were in online websites. I think they also started this conversation or a debate on whether period leaves should be made the norm rather than the exception. I think there was an NDTV talk show. Even the great Ankur Variku shared his opinion on uh, period leaves, I think after Zovato announced the same thing. Now that was super interesting. Now the point is this, just think about it for a while. Periods or pain, pains, pain related to periods is something that a lot of people used to talk about in hushed whispers, both in offices and at home. I mean, I know that my wife also finds it awkward, you know, one of those months when she has to take leave on the day that she's suffering from a lot of stomach cramps and stuff like that. And she really can't send her manager a direct message. So of course she has to say that she wants to take the day off because she has fever and stuff like that. Now this is something that a lot of women go through and a lot of men are already aware too. So women would have loved for companies to give them period leaves which are paid for. But, but women did not expect companies to do that. And when Zomato did this, of course, it was something that gathered everybody's attention. People started talking about it. Media wanted to write about it or they wanted to do news stories about it. That's how Zomato managed to strengthen its position of being a progressive and a cool company to work for. So remember this point that something that people would have loved to have, but they did not expect the companies to do. That's the crux of the entire story or that particular initiative. Now I'll share one more example with you to make this point. <laughs> now you may say, yaar Sachin Zomato to consumer internet company hai, har kisi ko iske mein pata hai. To no, no big deal, right? Fair point. There might be some amount of contribution of the fact that Zomato is an already popular company or a popular startup. Let me take an example of a company that most of you or probably some of you haven't heard of. It's called Tax Security. Tax Security is a cyber security firm focused on enterprises. So it's not really a consumer internet company or a consumer company. So it doesn't really sell products or it's not in front of uh, masses of customers. It goes to enterprises or its main business is from enterprises. Now, a company like this, you know, it's very difficult for some companies uh, like this to be able to attract talent because, you know, of course, you are not in the narrative, you are not somebody who's spoken of in news every day or you don't have holdings everywhere because that does not really match your business model. Uh, tax security in September of 2021 actually managed to make the news and not in a small way. They got a lot of media coverage for a company of its uh, business and for a company of its uh, of its style. Now, the interesting thing is tax security is founded by uh, the hacking whiz kid Trishneet Arora. He, of course, gets a lot of coverage because of, uh, you know, who he is, what he does, etc, uh, etc. Et but tax security in itself, like I said, is enterprise focused. But in September 2021, something interesting happened. They made an announcement. 
what's the announcement <laughs> i'll tell you i'll tell you the announcement was that they were going to get into an experiment of four day work week for their mumbai office and they said that if the experiment is successful we are going to get into like make the policy permanent everybody in tax security is always going to work four day work week because they believe that employees mental health well being they having the flexibility etc is really important and they also think that it is going to add to their company's productivity fair point interesting lovely of course everybody wanted this we've been all talking about four day work week for a while now i remember when i was in public relations and this is many moons ago uh, i had heard that in australia there were a lot of companies which used to offer four day work week तभी मैं सोचता था कि यार ऑस्ट्रेलिया जाना चाहिए जाना चाहिए था ओके नहीं नहीं विल गेट टू दैट सम अदर डे बट येस फोर डे वर्क वीक इज समथिंग दैट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ अस वांटेड टू लुक फॉरवर्ड टू बिकॉज इट अलाउज यू दैट वन एक्स्ट्रा डे टू रन होम एरेंड्स इफ नॉट इट एटलीस्ट गिव्स यू दैट वन डे सो दैट यू कैन डू अ लॉन्ग वीकेंड यू कैन एक्चुअली प्लान बेटर ट्रिप्स एंड गो टू अ लॉट ऑफ इंटरेस्टिंग प्लेसेस टैक्स सिक्योरिटी विद दिस अनाउंसमेंट सेड सम डिड समथिंग दैट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल वुड हैव लव to uh, get from companies but did not really expect companies to do that i'm sure that a lot of media coverage i mean of course a lot of media coverage followed tax securities announcement uh, they were in newspapers like mint uh, i think a lot of other important financials and mainline newspapers but i think what also may have happened though i have no way to, of confirming this is that they probably also got on the radar of a lot of software professionals programmers etc who i'm sure that the company is looking to uh, hire so that actually made them you know made them one of uh, the employers that people or talent would have sat up and taken notice of so again here the crux of the story is something that people would have loved the companies to do but you know not expected them to do tax security became one of the first people or one of the first companies to do that in india and they were rewarded with a lot of media coverage and probably with a lot of attention from talent as well okay those are two examples and you might be saying mm, ah do hi example hai yaar what's the big deal i will come back to you with one more example stay with me i guess a lot of people a lot of you must have heard of misho misho is an interesting startup it became a unicorn last year uh, misho has been in the news at least in 2022 for some wrong reasons Uh, which is laying off about 150 of their staff but before that happened in february of 2022 the company also made a very interesting announcement the founder and ceo vidit atre actually shared a twitter thread a thread on twitter which spoke about how misho was going to move into boundary less work forever for all of you who's wondering what is boundary less work i mean if, if it is sort of self explanatory but it's work from home or, or work from anywhere or remote work now this unnecessary catch phrase notwithstanding it was a very interesting announcement of, and of course a lot of people you know paid attention to it on twitter they got a lot of news coverage uh, newspapers like deccan herald hindu etc etc some of them that i have come through and with that they actually also managed to profile themselves as a progressive company and a kind of company that a lot of talent should think of working with now think about this we've been talking about remote work for a while now everybody's been talking about the fact that after the pandemic over should everybody go back to working from office should it be a hybrid model or should it be remote work and a lot of people have been saying that mm, you know what i really think remote work is great because i have the flexibility to go take my dog on a walk i can pick up my kids etc etc now whether remote working is as productive as office or not the jury is still not out i personally do not know though i am a big believer in remote work i enjoy working not in an office so uh, so 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 the thing is that a lot of people wanted this but we weren't really expecting companies to be able to do this or offer this to this employee to their employees because you know what most companies like their staff being in close cramped offices so that they can control them right maybe not all companies but i'm just you know sort of making a light hearted joke maybe not but let me move on so so because of that again something that would have loved the company companies loved companies to do but didn't expect them to do misho did that and they got a lot of attention because of that so if you look at it there is one interesting way in which 
startups tend to take these decisions and tend to uh, go viral or tend to make the news. So in the last segment of this video, I'm going to deconstruct that for you in a few steps. So you can think about, about your own company, your own brand like that and figure out if you can come up with an idea or an initiative which will get you uh, disproportionate coverage or disproportionate PR or disproportionate chatter or conversations on social media. All right. So in summary, <laughs> there are two, three examples. Zomato announced period leaves for its employees, female and transgender employees got a lot of attention because of that. Uh, Misho spoke about or Misho rather announced a work from anywhere policy forever. That got them a lot of attention. Uh, an enterprise cyber security firm called Tax Security announced four day work week. They got a lot of news coverage too. Now, uh, it is one point, if you are thinking about Zomato, Zomato's CEO and founder Dipinder Goyal is probably, I mean not probably, is definitely one of the best communicators or at least business communicators in our country. We've done a video about, you know, storytelling lessons from Dipinder Goyal. You should watch that. I'm sure you'll find it interesting, but I'll move on. So all these three examples that I shared with you, like I said, uh, these were all examples of stuff that we would have loved companies to do, but did not expect them to do. So how do you actually take this particular model and create news or newsworthy initiatives for your own company or your brand? So here it goes. The first step is to ideate. Put, take a piece of paper, sit down with your team and figure out what is it that your target audience would love for you to do, okay? But does not expect you to do because they don't think it's possible. So on, you know, one side of the paper, write down all the things that your target audience. So it could be your employees, potential employees, customers, vendors, partners, whichever target audience you're trying to attract or you're trying to reach out. Think about the stuff that they would love for you to do, but don't expect you to do. So stuff like 30 minutes siesta in the afternoon at office, unlimited paid leaves, or you get to choose your own salary or no appraisal, you appraise yourself. I, I don't know, you can go as wacky as you like. And then comes step two, which is, uh, you know, list down, curate this entire list, figure out what is practical, what is not. Uh, of course, you have to take a bold stand if you want to make the news. So figure out which one of these initiatives you want to go ahead and put your mind behind or be one of the first people to do that because the first one is the one who gets the news, right? If you're doing what everyone else is doing, you don't really make the news. So that's the entire gist of the story. You have to be the first one to do some of these things. The third thing is finalize. That's the third step. Finalize an initiative which really matters to your employees or to any other of your target audience segment and then watch how that makes the news. Of course, you still have to do a lot of the hygiene stuff like announcement, press releases, putting the stuff on website, making social media announcements, etc. But you will see that you will get an exponential result for an initiative which is considered to be completely different or considered to be pioneering, right? So that's that. In summary, the last thing I want to tell you is that the reason why startups tend to do this better is because startups have lesser layers of bureaucracy. Now, you can go sit down, think about a lot of wacky ideas that you'd like your company to do. But of course, when you have a manager, then you have a senior manager, then you have vice president, then you have senior vice president, and there is senior, super senior vice president, and the CEO and stuff like that. These kind of ideas don't really see the light of the day because everybody tends to be slightly guarded, tends to be slightly cautious if you are a big company. Now, startups aren't so big. They have don't have as much to lose as corporate companies do. That is why they are able to take these kind of initiatives and they make the news or they go viral a lot more often than traditional companies do. Doesn't mean that traditional companies don't do cool stuff or that they are not cool. They are. And I think if traditional companies also tend to take a little bit of risk and, you know, uh, take up initiatives which will make them make the news, uh, I think it is good for the entire corporate or entire business ecosystem. Uh, so, yes. In, in totality, in finality, I think the, the entire idea is that if you take a little bit of risk and do things that people want you to do, you will actually go viral or you will actually get people to start talking about yourself. That's it from me in this video. If you go to the 
description of this particular video you'll see a few links which you may find interesting uh, you can subscribe to my newsletter where i also try to deconstruct storytelling through narrating stories which is what i usually do you can also join one of my free webinars to understand storytelling or business storytelling concepts even better that is it from me in this video i've got to order something on zomato right now so bye bye <laughs>